Well, hello everyone, Don Balance here with another Facebook Live tutorial here on Tuesday from New Tech in San Antonio. And today we're finishing up our series of tutorials on Virtual Set Editor here on Facebook. Today we're going to take a look at creating another type of effect inside a Virtual Set Editor that's not particularly a virtual set. We're going to talk about making multiple layered video effects like double and triple box effects. Now this is something that people really like to do a lot in their productions, but they may think to themselves, you know, I'm never going to use a real virtual set so I don't need to worry about any of this technology. But these double and triple box effects are virtual sets. They're very easy to make and they allow you to add a lot of production value. So let's take a look at creating some of them. Again, when we launch Virtual Set Editor, we're presented with a lot of content that comes with the package. And all of these effects that have these red and blue backgrounds, these are multi-layered video effects. There are two and three and four input versions of these. And if we scroll down a little, there's a couple of more down here. Double box one, double box two, double box three, and so forth. So we're just going to go ahead and load up this very first one and take a look at it and how we can manipulate it. So it's set up right now for two keyed sources. So we're going to have one keyed source in A, one keyed source in B, and a static background. And that's going to work for a two-layer virtual set. If you're working in a video production system that allows for four layers, you could put a motion background behind here if you wanted to. Let's just work with a static background for now. So this is set up for A and B, and that's going to work great. Of course, if you want to make any changes to the position or rotation of any of these boxes, you can do that. I can go ahead and grab box B here. I can make it smaller. I can rotate it around and make changes to this virtual set however I feel fit. Let's go to box one. We're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to rotate it around. It's on top of box two right now. So maybe we're going to separate these off. So we've got one up there. And then box two, we're going to go ahead and put down here, make it a little bit bigger. You see, just design this the way that I want it to look. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here so that I've got room for graphics. Because very often in a situation like this, you're going to want to add graphics. Normally, this would be done using the keyers or the overlays available in your live production environment. But when we work in Virtual Set Editor, these effects are set up to add both foreground and background elements as part of the effect. So this is box number one and box number two that we've been manipulating up to this point. But we also have this background layer back here. And let's go ahead and open that up. Now there are two layers in the background. One layer is currently active, and that's what has this image in it. But I have another layer that I can use to do some compositing. So let's go ahead and turn that layer on. It does, of course, respect alpha channel if you're using an image with alpha channel. But I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a image. So I've got this world map image I'm going to bring in. And it completely obscures the other background. But you do have an opacity control here. So we can now blend those two images together, get a nice background and a custom background other than what comes default out of the box. Now, you might also want to be able to add some identifier graphics here as to who these people are. That can also be done by using the layers in this effect, because there are also two foreground layers available. And if I turn them on, uh, we can now manipulate these separately. And this can be the image that we're going to use under here. And again, I can take layer two and manipulate its image as well. We would shrink it down, and we would use this image underneath. Now, the thing that's great about this is, is we are not using any of our keyers inside of the live production environment to achieve this. So you could make a version of this set with the graphics and a version of this set without the graphics. And then simply by manipulating the set within the live production, add and remove graphics, freeing up all of the keyers and downstream keyers in the live production to do other things. Well, I hope these tutorials on Virtual Set Editor have been helpful to you and allow you to expand your production values and create great looking shows. Again, Virtual Set Editor is available in the New Tech Web Store or from one of our New Tech resellers. And it gives you two copies of Virtual Set Editor and two copies of Animation Store Creator, allowing you to set up a graphics creation workstation outside of the live production environment. So I could be making my sets and making my graphics on an external computer and literally sending them across the network for use in the live production. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. 
If you have any comments or suggestions or other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. We'll see you again next Tuesday here live on Facebook from New Tech. Thanks for watching.